What is going on y'all and welcome back and thank you for joining me for some more Valheim. Now if you're new here, do consider subscribing, that way you don't miss out on any new content. And don't forget to smash that like button for me. Did I find you? <laughs> but today we're going to be deep diving on the ultimate farming hub, which I've linked together all the farms that I've built over the course of the last, whatever, 8-9 months. And I have put them in a singular location, easily accessible, beautiful, on top of an obelisk in the middle of the plains. But if you want to build, <clears throat> if you want to know how to build any of these farms specifically, just go check out the farming library and I go in depth on all these. But what we're going to be talking about specifically today is going to be the farm chain, which I've linked together all non plantable but respawnable farming items. So from dandelions, raspberries, blueberries, mushrooms, yellow mushrooms, thistle, cloudberries, all that jazz we have linked together, which respawn every 300 minutes of actual gameplay, you know, so you have to be logged in. So first, obviously, we have the raspberry, the second most essential ingredient that you can collect besides honey. It's used in seven recipes. Only one greater than that is honey at 11. So, very important to have some raspberries linked up in your farm chain. Next up, of course, is blueberry and thistle, which thankfully usually spawn right around each other, so you can usually grab a cluster of both of these at the same time. Two very important ingredients right here. But I advise you not to link too many of these together, otherwise you'll spend a lot of time running through your farm chain. This could turn into a lengthy process unnecessarily because you do pick up a lot of these items as you're running around actually playing the game and of course we have yellow mushrooms so you can border in one of these crypts right here now i have chose one of the larger ones as you probably know that the dungeons vary in size depending on the entrance and you don't need to put more than one or two of these in your farm chain because you can easily pull 20 to 30 mushrooms out of one of these large uh burial chambers so I would advise linking at least one, looking for the big ones, you know the small ones have the little above ground tomb, so those, you usually get 10 to 15 yellow mushrooms out of there, they usually just skip them, not even worth the time. But this saves you the hassle of having to go find a black forest and find a crypt that hopefully you haven't walked by so the mushrooms have respawned. But next up on the list we have cloudberries. Now, not used in but just three recipes but still i use them all the time for my medium stamina for my medium stamina mead on a tongue twister right there and i run out of them all the time so it's nice to have a couple of these linked up that way just when i'm brewing if i run out of something i don't have to go try to find a berry patch i can just run through the farm chain and grab up some stuff i try to make it about five minutes long and that's enough for me now the only one I didn't include in here that you can do, I forgot about dandelions, which are used in both the minor and medium health meads, but you can include dandelions in this process if you know, but they're so plentiful, I mean, it's kind of unnecessary. But you know, if you have a good idea of what you need to brew, you can set up your farm chain accordingly and have a quick five minute run and be able to brew the exact amount of potions that you want like every time so this is a very handy tool to use but i hope you got something from the video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you in the next one